I come here today to update on what's happening, gas to gang stalking and all the abuse that's been going on behind the scenes. James, who is the psychic investigator on here, has been absolutely amazing. Updates with everything that's been happening. He's gave me many confirmations of things that I actually knew intuitively myself and also through other readers like La Rasha, What's the Chatter and Philosophical were two who have been very in detail, intensely picking up on the energies of my story and my son and family who are currently going through a lot right now. Uh, I would also like to talk about the Scott Chauffeur video who analyses a lot of the behaviours connected to unsolved deaths uh, regarding the Nicola Bully case because I actually put a comment forwarded it on his channel and it was retracted instantly so I do believe somebody is very much tampering with my phone in a way that deciding what I post and what I don't post and I also was informed through one of the readers that a whole lot of them all teamed together to get right into uh, Facebook to put a block on my my Facebook channel. I don't really use Facebook very much to post a lot of things. It's mostly Instagram and I'm actually thinking about going on TikTok because I don't have a lot of followers not being a cloud chaser but on TikTok it's probably going to get seen by a, a lot more because I'm ready to go public and let the newspapers and the news come in to the story because when people see how badly you've been treated by everybody and you're actually the innocent one when the person that's doing all the damage to the child is being supported, it's wrong and something really needs to get done about it and I'm not going to keep quiet until it is really. Uh, it's unfair and um, our calls and everything are being ignored. I do believe it's because he's not allowed to answer and who as a father the right to decide for a 16 year old whether you speak to your mother or your gran. It's just really not good enough. And I've also heard that because of what happened that there is going to be grounds to sue the caseworker who was involved with the CPS. My son was never removed from me. He went away as usual to his dad's for the weekend and I was told that he was staying there just until they'd done further interviews. Helen Sweeney, uh, what does she call herself on YouTube? Ziggy Stargirl. She had made up a whole load of lies. She was actually paid by the family to come after me, stalk me and document a whole load of information. It was really none of your business. Went right into finding out who my lawyer was and everything, done deals under the table with him as well. A lot of stuff I know intuitively just wasn't right at the time. When I used to go and when Dad came for support to the lawyer, we knew something was going on. We felt there was a strong case that he must be connected to one of the family somewhere, be it Michael or uh, Kenny. And now there was something just wasn't right. And there was a few times they came out with comments that didn't really sit the way you would expect a lawyer to speak to you as well. So it's just to make it aware <laughs> I know exactly the things that were going on under the table, getting me to sign numerous documents telling me it was legal aid when it was a marriage and all sorts of things they had to sign them for. This is all going to come up in court, it's not going to go because you failed me drastically regarding my son's health and safety as far as the social work and lawyers and everything like that goes. That lawyer was recommended through social, uh, Women's Aid and see because it took him so long to even take any action from me they removed his name from the list because they weren't impressed with how he dealt with it at all. But I'm not going to keep quiet until things get done because it's just going to be more and more children and adults are going to be abused this way until the system gets on top of it because it's corrupt right now and there's many jobs will be lost regarding this. As I said, Stephen just mentioned the name Eddie as well. I personally know him from a while ago and I went targeting him knowing that he did just to be a soulmate of mine. So now he's been involved with people that I knew and did inform him prior to the story unraveling the way it was, he didn't take it on board, I did, just went and trusted a whole bunch of haters 
who were out to destroy me for jealousy because they knew my future had a big success on it and it's still going to be no matter what any of these do. And all these deaths that are happening unexpectedly around after all these death spells is going to be investigated and they're going to find out because all the sneaky chats that have been taking place, nothing as sneaky. I know exactly what your plans are and if you think you're planning and sending somebody to pickpocket me when I'm out, be prepared to get jammed in my bag because nobody comes near me without me knowing exactly what's happening and I know how to handle myself and I ain't too scared to take action when necessary. So I'll just let that be known.